Nikki 1000 and today I got a purchase. Um, I helped this, well, I don't know if you call it a helper, but she, she texts me and asks me if I want to help her with a product and I say sure. And um, she puts my m money into uh, PayPal and then she um, has me buy it and I have to send her a copy so I send her a copy to show her that I bought it and I get it for free and I get to keep it. I don't have to do a video I just have to do a review from on Amazon for it and that's it so um, I, I'm going to do a video a review on this but I don't have to for her but I'm doing it for, for my channel so just in case somebody's interested in this they might be and they might say hey I like that for me or Christmas gift or something so I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so you guys can see um, I had to plug it in so the cord is kind of pulling on that camera and trying to move it there maybe hopefully all right so we're gonna open this up it wasn't supposed to come until Monday and it came early, so that was good. So. Okay. This is cast iron. It's a cast iron honeycomb non-stick skillet. It's 10 inch and it's supposed to be 100% healthy. There's the box. It also says on the back, it says, um, let me see. Oh, you can email them. It, it gives you the website. And it's F FDA approved. You can freeze that if you like and read it. The make is uh, I am Mark Marco. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. So let's open this up. what we got. It is heat re retention, non-stick, and it's scratch resistant and re rust free treatment. So that's kind of nice. This is what it looks like inside the box. Now we're going to take all this lovely doodad stuff out. nicely packaged. It gives you a book. Um, it comes in 8 inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that without the glare. There you go. I don't know if it comes, I don't think it comes in other colors. I think it comes in black. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I'll look it up for you and let you know when I look at my thing. It is dishwash safe. For those who have dishwasher. It's supposed to be easy to just wipe off. It is a heat fast heat conduction and even heating wear resistant and anti-rust not easy to de deform and optimize for lighter weight so it's it ain't too bad it's got a little bit of weight to it but it's not like the iron the cast iron one that we have the other one's really heavy but this would be all right for me i don't know if you had arm problems if you could use this i don't know it, it depends on what, what your problem was, I would say. Okay, so we have a handle here, and we have to put it together. So, guess who gets to do that one? I'll get Shaber to come out, and he can put it together maybe for me. So, it might not be that hard. I don't know. This thing here. Ooh, pretty handle really pretty and you just stick it through here oh it 
might not be that hard. Let me see here. There's no screw. You screw it. Yeah, because it, it has a screw thing. Oh, yeah. But this must go inside. So I wonder where this little doodad is. Give you a washer. So let me see where the washer goes because I have no friggin' idea. I might be able to do this without Shea Bear. Okay, so it gives you the directions on how to put the handle on there. You can freeze that if you like, if you're interested. Um, screw rod and spacer. So that's a spacer. So where's the spacer go in? Uh, insert the matching handle into the skillet's handle connection. Note that the handle logo is facing up. So it's going to go like that. You're going to put that in there. But when, you, when do I use a washer? Uh, I don't do it yet. So you're going to stick this in here. And just push on it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got the logo up. Also, I forgot. Okay, so the logo is going to be up. So just like that. Not that bad. Not yet. Then I'm going to take this washer and you're going to put it on this screw thing. It's called a screw rod, I guess. Take the spacer and thread the screw rod Thread the screw rod through the spacer. Don't forget to add sp spacers. Oh, there's two spacers. Well, how do I know where, where they go? Hmm. Yeah. So is this an extra spacer? Maybe this is just an extra spacer. It says take a spacer take A. So, okay, it already had a spacer on here. And that must be an extra one, so if you lose it or whatever. And thread the screw rod through the spacer. Don't forget to add spacers. That's the tips. I don't know. I think you only need one. Insert the screw rod into the holes of the handle. So you're just going to do like this and screw it in there and you just got to keep screwing it and it's going to go all the way in pretty much and just keep screwing it and screwing it maybe i don't know oh i got it now i feel it i have that feeling okay Turn the end of the screw rod clockwise until it can't turn. Okay, so you just want to keep turning it until it gets tight. There we go. We got it. Yeah, you only use that one spacer. All it is is it kind of finishes it at the end here, if you guys can see that right there so and it doesn't there so you, they give you an extra one that's what it is okay after assembly make sure the handle is not loose and it's not loose nice and tight and the installation is complete so I didn't need shape air this time not this time maybe in the near future you never know Ooh, poppies. Ooh, poppies. Sorry, guys. Love the poppies. Okay. So, there we go. That's what it looks like. Whoa. Without me dropping it. That's the bottom. Very nice. It is a little... It's got some weight to it. It is iron. So, it's going to have some weight to it. Let me get my other one and I'll compare the two of them together. And mind you, the other one is a little bit bigger. So, of course, it's going to be somewhat heavier. Yeah. So, yes. So, I don't know if this is really fair because it is bigger. We use this thing all the time. All the time. 
as you can see. You've seen it in most our cooking videos. And it is very heavy, so, you know, compared to this one, yeah, it is lighter. <laughs> but it's smaller, too. I don't know what size this one is. I bought this one at Walmart a while back. We use it for everything. So. But I need a smaller one. So I'm going to put this back over here. Anyways, so what I need to do is cooking it to see how well I like it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook in it. And then I'll come back and I'll let you know how I liked it after I make the meal. I was going <coughs> to show you the recipe, but it's not a big thing. So I'm just going to cook in it and do my thing. And, and I'll be back. Let you know how it goes. Maybe in between I'll, I'll pop you back on. We'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm making this recipe. I will put it below because I haven't really showed you how to do this. It's more about how the pan is and stuff. Um, it's got a nice long handle, which I like. So you're away from the fire. It's not getting hot at all. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. Um, what I did is put sausage, onion, garlic, peppers, and I'm just um, stirring it up to let it go for seven to eight minutes. And then I'm going to add some other products in here. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so I put in this, this spaghetti sauce and um, you put in fiery sauce. Um, and I will give you the whole recipe. But the thing is, I, I have a 10 inch. This is what they gave me. So this recipe um, was for a 12 inch, but that's okay. And it also wants me to put it in the oven and bake it. So I'm at the rim here and I have noodles that I'm going to put in here. And um, so I'm going to put them in my bigger skillet because this one does not say that you can put the <coughs> skillet in the oven because of the wooden handle. And I don't want to chance that. So... Um, you know, this is going to be great for up here, though. It, it stirs around. It's not sticking. It, it's not doing anything. It's not hot. The handle's just fine. Um, but the rest of this recipe has to go in the oven, so that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll come back, and um, we'll discuss the um, cleaning this. I'll, I'll clean it, and I'll let you know how easy it cleaned, and then we'll come back. All right? Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I put it in the oven, um, in my bigger one. Now that, that's, if you if you have a big family, you're going to want the bigger one. But, um, I mean, there's three of us. But this would be fine for stuff, vegetables, or, you know, eggs, or something like that, you know, when you're cooking for one or two. Um, I just, that this was really too small for the recipe that I found. So, but it, it worked out good. You know, we're going to wipe it out and see how well it wipes it. Because you're supposed to be able to wipe it. So you can get all that tomato and off. And we'll see, you know, how well. And then you wash it with soap and water. And that's it. It's coming off, but it's not coming off all the way, but it's coming off. So I'm going to wash it with soap and water. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I washed it out with soap and water. That's all you have to do. Or you can put it in the dishwasher. That's up to you. I like it very much. It's very pretty. Love the handle. Did not get hot. The only question I do have, can I doubt it? Because it has a wooden handle that you can put it in the oven. I did not see anything that it said that it could go in the oven. Just the main purpose was frying, cooking, grilling, and other daily cooking. That's all it said. So I would not try it with the handle. I would not try it to put it in the oven. 
But if you have a big family, I think you're going to want the 12 inch instead of the 10 inch. I think if there's one or two of you, the 10 inch will be great for for yeah. you too. But also it can um, be, you can just put vegetables in there if you're making a meal and just use it for vegetables, whatever you want, really. You could cook up hot dogs in here, sausage, you know, you put a couple of chickens in here, hatch them a few times, whatever you like. So, um, yeah. So, I, I like it very much. I like the 12 inch now. <laughs> really, I like the 12 inch too. Um, and they have an 8 inch. Yeah. The 8 inch, eh, I probably wouldn't use it much. But it does say 10 inch is supposed to be 3 to 4 people. That's what it says. And the 12 inch is between 5 and 6 people. Well, there's 3 of us, but we are big people. And we like to eat. So, and I like to have leftovers because Shea Bear gets up in the middle of the night and raids the fridge. So, I like to have the leftovers in there because he'll eat them. He'll always eat them. So, we're good there. I didn't give you the price of it. Let me look it up for you. Um, now, I got, uh, let me have to look here. Okay, when I got this skillet... I ordered it. It was $49.99. And now this skillet is $74.99 for the 10 inch. Now if you're interested in the 12 inch is $98.99. And then the 8 inch is $16.99. <coughs> I'd rather put my money into the 10 inch and the 12 inch and not even worry about the 8 inch really. Um, unless you, you're one person. One person might do fine with that 8 inch. Um, you know. But um, if you have trouble with your arms, you may have trouble with these. Um, and mom can lift it. But she said if anybody had any other handicap, um, she had broken her arm. So um, she can lift this better than she can lift the, the bigger one that I have so she probably uses this and she might be able to carry it to the sink if she puts it on a walker and washes it um, but she, I don't think she could carry it from the stove to the sink without dropping it I don't think so so for anybody that has you know issues with their arms or hands or um, it might not be for you but otherwise I really, really like it. I really want the other one, too. So, but Christmas is coming, you know? So, I'm going to hint. <laughs> 12 inch, yeah. Because I could use that 12 inch a lot. But this is great. I mean, there's a lot of times I, ha I have the bigger one. And we don't really need the bigger one. So, now I have this one. And I can throw out the little one that I have. It doesn't look too good. So, I'm going to throw it out. And I really, really impressed. I like it a lot. It's very pretty. We'll see how long this this honeycomb coating will last. It really was easy to slide around when I was mixing it. It wasn't sticking at all. It was very comfortable and easy. So, um, yeah, I really like it a lot. So, um, that's it for now, guys. Um, yeah, I got another couple of videos coming as soon as the mail comes and brings it um yeah so there we go I'm kind of close I'm sorry I think I got it zoomed in too close hold on there we go that's better anyway so um yeah so I got a couple more videos I can do so stay tuned and be looking for them now, um, I have to tell you that I had a Timu video that I was going to save because they were my grandbaby's clothes. Well, I sent them and they got them. I went to go get that video and I accidentally erased the whole thing. So, if you guys were looking for that video, it's gone. I'm sorry. 
but I can maybe do a video on the clothes and just show you the pictures and and I opened them all up on that video so I knew what the texture of them and if I like them or not the kids love them they love their clothes so they're happy that's all that matters to me that they're happy so I am sorry that I lost that video but I have two more Timu stuff coming and um, I also um, have a video coming up on my diamond painting again so stay tuned for those anyways monkey says she's out bye y'all